Welcome to Outback Fibre's instructional videos. How many times have you gone to a fibre show and seen a beautiful piece of wool roving such as this? You open it up and here you've got this lovely gradation of colours moving from the green into the peachy salmon and into the coral colour. But you're a felt maker and you know that you normally pull things off in tufts and make layers and you wonder what something like this would look like if you did that. Well, it would just get muddied together and it would not be give you the kind of result you want unless you've watched this little instructional video. What we're going to show you today is an excellent way to make to take advantage of these beautifully hand dyed colors that we have here today. So what I have done is I have stripped off a length of the roving from the very thick roving, which is about as thick around as your wrist. And we've made a thinner strip and I'm going to thin this yet again. So just pull that lengthwise and I'm looking for a piece of roving that's about as thick around as my finger. And for my base today, I've chosen a scarf size piece of the Profusion in the sagebrush color. And we're going to take the roving today and just demonstrate how to make a beautiful design on here that doesn't lose that lovely gradation of color as the dye moves along the length of the roving. What we're going to do today is thin the roving out a little. I'll remove this briefly so that you can see. We're going to hold down the tips with our fingers here and pull this with your other hand. Only we're not going to pull off the tuft as we would if we were doing a traditional felting layout. We're just going to pull this until it flattens and separates. And you're going to move your hand along a little further. And you're going to get this lovely ribbon of fiber that moves along. <laughs> I've got a little static electricity here. Going from one color into the next. So you get this nice length with the movement of color. So then take your base that you're going to work on. And you can work directly onto the wool base if you want to do it this way. And depending on what you want to do, you can go down the piece. And if you want to leave some little tassels hanging off the end and work those into the little fringy pieces, you can do that. And again, just pull gently until the roving begins to flatten out and thins out, but it doesn't completely separate. So you're going to pull this out. You can use this going along the outside. But you can see how simple that is to keep that lovely movement of color as you go down the length of the roving without um, muddying all the colors together. You can use this on a base of pre-felt like this, or you can take these pieces that we've separated and you can use them by themselves. And you can make one of those wonderful lattice scarves where you simply lay the roving in a ladder fashion. And then you crisscross it with other pieces. And you create a grid this way that you then traditionally felt in your wet felting method. And these will all close up nicely and you'll get this beautiful lattice scarf. So this is just a, an easy way to make take advantage of these beautiful hand dyed rovings that we have in our Merino Harmonies line. So go to um, outbackfibers.com and look for the Merino Harmonies. We have about 50 different colorways in these beautiful hand dyed yarns. So check those out today and thank you for your attention.